Welcome to Pat McCurdy Shelter in Place show number 21. And it's Halloween coming. Up. I could do two weeks of Halloween. But right now, for Mr. John Flood in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Don't honk your horn at me, get upset or angry. Don't stick your finger out, no need to shout. Why don't you pass me by? I see no reason why. Why we can't share this road and still be friends. Sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it's a curse. I always drive in reverse. I'm walking backwards too, so I can only see what's going on behind and not in front of me. I know where I have been, I know what I have done. Try walking backwards too, like everyone. Sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it's a curse. I always drive in reverse. Rear end, look out for my rear end. Look out, you pedestrians. Sometimes I lose control. I always drive in reverse. No matter where I walk, no matter where I drive, the place I want to be, I never do arrive. Go on and pass me by. I see no reason why, why we can't share this road and still be friends. Sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it's a cursing. Yes! You may get that faster, you may get that first, but I always drive in reverse. I always drive in reverse. I always drive, you always drive, we always drive in reverse. Ah. Oh, thank you so much, garage people. Damn you, North Dakota. Wisconsin used to be number one in COVID cases. Now we're down to number three. And that's why I, that's why I have to be back in the garage again. I'm back in the garage again. I'm so glad that all of you could come. Happiness, I'll try to bring you some. I'm back exactly where I started from long ago. Garage again. I'm back in the garage again. I'm playing for the shovels and the brooms, but this is nicer than my living room. I suppose we could have met on Zoom, but I know that I don't let anyone get me. I don't let anything get me. I don't let anything. Except for everything, I don't let anything get me. I don't let anything get me. I don't let anything get me down. But I'm back in the garage again. I'm back in the garage again. It really didn't have to be this way. But things are getting bleaker every day. again and you know something this garage is kind of cold yeah it's got a little nippy here in Milwaukee normally on a night like this on this exact night for the last few years I've been playing at the Madison curling club obviously I'm back in the garage again 
And a few years ago, a guy named Todd, Todd Bernhardt, got really drunk. He was dressed up like a wolf or a grandma or something. I don't know what the hell he was. But he slid across the drunken dance floor and completely snapped off the mic stand. Do you remember that, Todd? Yeah, we had to stick the mic in a bucket. So, Todd, listen. You request this one, I'll do it for you. What does this song have to do with curling? All I ever eat is Chinese food. The restaurant on my street has got Chinese food. Macaroni and your cheese, give me Chinese food. And you can keep your BLTs, I like Chinese food. Hot dogs are too hot, and candy is too sweet. All I ever eat is Chinese food. Hunan Szechuan candies. Got me begging on my knees. Hunan Szechuan candies. Got me begging, please, please, please. Chinese food. Woo. Chinese food. we're doing the show tonight is because it's Halloween and Jessica Frone wants me to sing a little song I wrote about an actual person who lives in a small town in Illinois and when you hear this that's your cue to let out a blood curdling scream are we ready at home There's a rat on the stairs of Auntie Purple's house. There's 100 dead canaries at Auntie Purple's house. There's a head in the stove that she picked up off the road. There's some scary things at Auntie Purple's house. (sighs) 
There's a noose in the attic of Auntie Purple's house, and you'll always be ecstatic at Auntie Purple's house. She will serve little pies filled with real human eyes. There's some scary things at Auntie Purple's house. And her garden, it grows so beautifully. Auntie Purple knows what's buried in the flower bed. Uncle Red. <laughs> without lids at Auntie Purple's house and Egyptian pyramid at Auntie Purple's house there's a cat from Siam sleeping in a pentagram there's some scary things at Auntie Purple's house where do all the goblins go Auntie Purple's house how about Edgar Allan Poe Auntie Purple's house there's a ghost and a ghoul sleeping in the vestibule there's some scary things at Auntie Purple's house there's a lot to see at Auntie Purple's house. It's unusual at Auntie Purple's house. Hey, look, Donald Trump is at Auntie Purple's. Scary! But there's a lot to see at Auntie Purple's house. Rudy Giuliani's hanging upside down at Dante Purple's house. Oh, scary. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's meet the cast and crew of tonight's show first. We'll introduce COVID survivor and cue card holder tonight, Brian Murphy. Brian Murphy. Two negative tests in one week. Which should, yeah, wear your mask. That's what, did you hear that? On camera, let's hear for Kevin Hansen. Kevin Hansen. And holding the curling thing. We have Pipe Jim on sound. Pipe Jim on sound. Scary. And where is she? Where is the mistress of alcohol? Keeping the glasses full since 20, whenever we started this. Keeping the glasses full in 2020. The mistress of alcohol, Bethany. Let's have her, Bethany. While she's up here, I'm drinking the Jameson and ginger ale tonight. And the drinking word is pumpkin spice. Or, or a combination, or either just one of those, uh, those, yeah. No, no, it's pumpkin spice. Or I could say, what an attractive pumpkin that is back there. Sorry. <laughs> no, but the, if uh, uh, one of the... English singing group had really orange skin. There would be Mel B, there'd be Scary Spice, and Pumpkin Spice. Thank you, Bethany. Keep those glasses full out there in the garage. Keep those dogs quiet. I'm going to be uh, in the garage for the next in the foreseeable future. Well, maybe not in the garage if it gets too cold. I might stay in this garage till Christmas time. I'm not sure. I get, Murph is busy right now. Murph, am I going to be here for every Friday night for, for the foreseeable future? I will not be here on Christmas night or Black Friday. Why can't I be here on Black Friday? Oh, okay. Oh, then that's uh, that's all right then. And in the for the oncoming, the upcoming weeks, every week there's going to be a new song that you have never heard before, or anybody in this garage has heard before. And the first one will be. Uh I hope you like this song, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. End of the world. I hope you like this song, but if you don't, it doesn't matter that much to me. When the chorus comes in When Uncle Bill sings and Aunt Doris jumps in I hope you like this song But if you don't, it's not the end of the world I 
hope you like this song, but if you don't, I'm pretty sure I'll get by. I'll get by. I hope you like this song, but if you don't, I just might give it another try. To make a slam dunk or a hole in one, you might recognize the song that is stolen from. I hope you like this song, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. this hope you like this hope you like this song i hope you're on your feet hope you're getting down the louder i sing the better it sounds the song, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. I hope you like this song, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You like this. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. If you don't, you know what you are? You are what the next song is called. This is for the Gifford family in Massachusetts. We have heard from the Gifford family many of the weeks of this show. And they have kids. They have kids. Why are they requesting this song week after week? There was an English guy with two last names in the cubicle next to me. He was a snotty English guy with a tweed overcoat and an air of superiority. I said we bailed out your ass in World War II. If not for us, you can bet that you would not be raising your whiny voice. You'd be goose-stepping, baby, and sprecking sea joy. He was the thankless pastor. Yes, he was. He was a thankless pastor. Just because. A couple days went by, and I came upon a guy who was choking on a piece of meat. Well, I grabbed his chest and I gave it a squeeze And he spit the meat at my feet Well, I saved his life, but I broke his rib I stood there proud in my lobster bib He was nice at first, then he changed his tune He said, you'll be hearing from my lawyer soon What was he? He was a thankless bastard Don't know why was a I should have let him die and everybody sings la 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 oh 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 oh, oh, oh. la 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 I've sung my songs, and I've sung them pretty well, and I've sung them straight from my heart. And I stand up here, exposed to the world, waiting for applause to start. So what in hell is wrong with you? You're not doing what you're supposed to do. I haven't heard a peep out of you yet, if this is all the thanks I get. Thankless bastard, yes you are, you're all thankless bastards, so far, we're all thankless bastards, sometimes are we not, we're all 
all thankless bastards. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, take that, you bastards. Can we, can we get 2020 over with? Can we get it over with? Can we get the election over with? You know, they're not, you know what they're not showing on ABC this year? Charlie Brown's Great Pumpkin. I just said pumpkin. I don't know what's my favorite spice. Parsley, sage, rosemary, or pumpkin latte. It's freezing cold in this garage, and uh, I'm drinking an icy drink. It's delicious. I suggest everybody get some ginger ale, some Jameson, or if you have to, get some corn liquor. I've done so many songs for Kimberly Unger. I have done so many songs for Kimberly Unger. I haven't done any for Kevin, really. This is a song that was written in, in different times. The song was written when people had better senses of humor. I still mean it, though. I seen your old Kentucky home, and it looked just like a shack. I drove through Indiana, and I barely made it back. Cause something changed inside me, I didn't think that it would. Now I'm in the stock car racing, and my sister's looking good. Smelled the Smoky Mountain air. I ate smoked bacon and smoked ham. I drank just one mint julep. Now I don't know who I am. Cause my neck is getting redder. Got no shoes upon my feet. Think I'll beat up Jerry Springer and dress up in a sheet. Johnny comes marching home again. Oh, to do da day. Hey, Kevin, I'm picking. Show's over. And now I drive an 18-wheeler, and I'm talking with a drawl. Got a woman when I beat her, why she hardly cries at all. Now I think I'll just get loaded, shoot my gun, and then reload. I'll speed on down the highway, and they'll scrape me off the road. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you. Oh, to do da do Oh, to do da do Corey Esser from Dubuque, Iowa. I don't know if I could sing this song in Dubuque, Iowa. It's a tad sacrilegious. Perfect for coming after Kevin's song. Oh, Corey Esser. There are no churches, no church bells in my new religion. There is no heaven and no hell in my new religion. 
I believe in you and me, we can live our lives quite decently. Completely superstition free in my new religion. Completely superstition free in my new religion. No collection plates in my new religion. No pedophiles or pearly gates in my new religion. There's just a bedroom and a bed where we can rest our lusty heads. We'll dine on wine and daily bread in my new religion. We'll dine on wine and daily bread in my new religion. Believe in logic and reason, I should say. I believe in science and reason. I believe in the love in our hearts. I believe in the changing of the seasons. And heaven is wherever we are when we're together. And hell is when we have to be apart. the apocalypse in my new religion just clap your hands and shake your hips in my new religion for we are kind and generous we never want to make a fuss we treat other people like we wish that they treat us in my new religion hit it in my new religion there are no creepy undergarments in my new religion, no dietary restrictions. In my new religion, no aliens or angels. In my new religion, no fire and no brimstone. In my new religion, no crusades or inquisitions. In my new religion, only multiple positions. In my new religion. For we treat other people like they wish that they treat us in my new religion. Let's say thank you to some people, Murph. Keep your mask on. I want to say hello to Marshall Rosewall from your wife, Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn's been contact me on the side to say hello, Marshall. There's another message, but I forgot it. Uh, James Frankowiak. Hello, James Frankowiak. Sheila McGrath. These are some names that I don't know if I do all the time, but Evert Burnt or Evert, Evert Burnt, whatever. It's a cool name. Laura Cools from Janesville. Your t-shirt's on the way. Finally. Finally, your tank top's on the way. Bruce Haroldson. Your stuff is on the way, too. Uh, Dylan Rounds, uh, as opposed to Dylan Square or Dylan trying, uh, you know, I like <laughs> Dylan Rhombus. Hello, I'm Rhombus, Dylan. Uh, Kim Carroll and Mike Grether. Thank you, Mike and Kim. Mary Beardsley Keller. I love hyphenated names, and I always will. Uh, Aaron Begalke comes from Florida. I don't know what difference that makes, really. But uh, uh, the Brewers, the Brewers from the Brewers of Milwaukee. Thank you, Steve and family. Steve, Tina, and family. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Uh, Kim and Chad Carpenter. Chad Bader? No, sorry. <laughs> J Jason Bondi, uh, Stephanie Anderson, thank you. Cheddar, Cheddar from Iowa, as always. Chris Salter and Poppy. Now that's, yeah, that sounds like, I don't know, some sort of 70s singing group. <laughs> and they had fringy clothes. And they're, hey, it's Chris Salter and Poppy. Uh, Corey Malkar is from Clark Graphics, and if you need to have any printing done, <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. Uh, Ken Saffron and Lee, oh, Ken Saffron, thank you. Lee Schmidt. Whenever I see a guy named Lee, I think his name should be like the owner of Lee's Liquor Lodge. Anybody remember that? <laughs> oh, we're playing at Lee's house in the summer when the COVID is uh, hopefully gone. Please, COVID, be gone. Please, let's have a national plan to get rid of it. Please, somebody do something. Besides get a new, oh, please, somebody do something. 
Oh, Margaret Brenner. Margaret Brenner, thank you. Rebecca Winsell, we've said hello to you before. David Hines, uh, 57 varieties. Chris Swoboda, thank you to Chris Swoboda. Thank you all you guys. Anybody who's donated is okay by me because it's gonna see me through the long winter. Not, I've decided I'm not buying either of my kids Christmas presents this year, so I'll save a little money that way. I, I do want to play this next song. This is my choice. It's not a request. Uh, I know there's probably children watching this. And kids, this is the Fuck Buddy song. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Call on over and do God knows what to you. Even though I on occasion have dropped everything, gone on over and done God knows what to you. You got to assume that I'll always be here. I've got friends, I've got hobbies, I've got a career. You can't just call and expect me to drop every. You can't just call and expect me to drop every. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Oh, yes, you can. I will sleep with you, but I won't like it. I will eat your food, just one helping. I'll read your magazines. I'll watch your flat TV. I'll make long distance calls, international, international aid. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Come on over and do God knows what to you. Even though I on occasion have dropped everything. Gone on over and done God knows what to you. You can't assume that I'll always be here. I've got friends, I've got hobbies, I've got a career. You can't just call and expect me to drop every. You can't just call and expect me to drop every. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Oh, yes, you can. 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 Best ending I ever did for that. Oh, you know, variety. You know what variety is, everybody. Variety is the spice of life. And so is a cappella. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Come on over and do. Even though I on occasion have dropped everything. Come on over and do. You can't assume that I'll always be here. I've got friends, I've got hobbies, I've got a career. You can't just call and expect me to drop every. You can't just call and expect me to drop everything. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Bruce and Nancy Shower requested this song. I should put this down as a challenge, but it's not really. It's old. It's kind of emotional, too. Listen. The situation wouldn't be so sticky. This equation wouldn't be so tricky. You would love me if you weren't so picky. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. You think that everything I do is amusing. I think that everything you say is confusing. It's that double talk you're always using. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. But you're still the one. You're still the one that I'll always love no matter what. 
still the one. You're still the one that I love. No ifs or ands or buts. There isn't any special time or season. There isn't any special rhyme or reason for your million little acts of treason. And Marie. Still the one, still the one that I'll always love, no matter what. Still the one, still the one that I'll love, no ifs or ands or buts. The situation wouldn't be so sticky, this equation wouldn't be so tricky. You would love me if you weren't so picky. Anne Marie, Anne Marie, Anne Marie, Anne Marie. So everybody in the whole world named Anne Marie. New CD is coming. It'll be in time for November. Now is not the time for sad songs. A Pandemic 2020 Souvenir by Pat McCurdy. I don't think the pandemic will be over anytime soon. I just heard this week that the McBrides, everyone in the McBride family is, is ill and I hope they're gonna be fine. And maybe this song that they requested for my new CD, Make things a little easier on a Friday night. Six feet apart, six feet apart. What can we do when we're six feet apart? Six feet apart, six feet apart. I can't get close to you when we're six feet apart. If we could hold hands, that would be splendid, but our arms are too short, even fully extended, and we have to stay six feet apart, six feet apart, it seems like a mile when we're six feet apart, six feet apart, six feet apart, just for a while we'll be six feet apart. dance but you'd have to touch me we can't watch tv because our couch is a love seat and we have to stay six feet apart six feet apart in quarantine we'll be six feet apart six feet apart six feet apart until day 14, we'll be six feet apart. We can't make love, that would be tricky. We've moved our beds like Lucy and Ricky. And we have to stay, and we have to stay, and we have to stay six feet apart, six feet apart. Six feet apart, six feet apart, six feet apart. Just for a while, we'll be six feet apart. La 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 Six feet apart. One more for the McBrides. I'll admit I am not in that great of a mood. 
lately the state I'm in could be greatly improved. I don't want to bring you down, so I'm not going to sing the blues. I'm not going to gaze at my navel or my shoes. Nothing quite like the nightmare that we're living in. Every day, every night, you feel like giving in. But I don't want to be a downer. I don't want to make you weak. I'll save that for later on when I'm trying to sleep. But now it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Now it's not the time for sad songs. I will not drag you down the emotional drain I won't share my my legs, my misfortune and pain I don't want to be depressing And you don't want to see me weak I'll save that for later on Trying to sleep, but now it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Feeling bad songs. Now it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Hard times we've had songs. Tortured artist. No, really, I'm just fine. I just want to smile a while and drink a little wine. Cause now it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Feeling bad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. No, it's not the time for sad songs. Hard times we had songs. No, it's not the time for sad, sad Thank you, McBrides. Oh, I have to have a drink, but I, I'm trying to think of a, what I, I can insert. Something. Oh, a joke. <laughs> what do hillbillies do on... <laughs> what do hillbilly girls do on Halloween? Pumpkin. A pumpkin head. Oh, that's another one. Oh. <laughs> What's the score? Well, it's the halftime of the Badgers. It's a close one. It's a barn burner. Twenty-eight to seven, Badgers. Just don't watch the second half. Yeah, leave it. Sheila Finnamore of Maine requested a song. Now, I told you I'm not, it's not the time for sad songs. This sounds like a sad song, but it is not. It's a song, this is a, a very, I think it's a very happy song. I'm also playing this for Mr. Harlan Fisher, if he's watching. Harlan. Sheila Finnamore, all the way from Maine. Can't get there from here. <laughs> she stood up in the middle of a crowded room. She said, I can't take this anymore. 
I've heard your last lie, and now I want to see you squirm when I say goodbye. She stood up in the middle of a crowded room. She stood up. stood up for the first time in her life. She said, I don't have to live like this. You and I both know that you just can't stop hitting me in places it won't show. She stood up for the first time in her life. was so afraid and every night she prayed she would never be be so afraid again so she stood up and she turned and walked away she said nothing you can say or do will ever change my mind Think of all the love you've lost, the love you left behind. She stood up and she turned and walked away. She stood up. She stood up. something I'm happy if you're happy if you're happy everybody's happy come on now you know it's true one more time I'm telling you I'm happy if you're happy if you're happy everybody's happy yeah 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 you know it's true listen now to what I'm telling you imagine the that could happen then multiply it by nine imagine society crumbling then put it out of your mind I'm happy if you're happy if you're happy everybody's happy come on now you know it's true one more time I'm telling you I'm happy if you're Happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's true. Listen, Sheila Finnamore, I'm telling you. Imagine the world getting hotter. The temperature continues to climb. And everybody's covered with water. Put it out of your mind. I'm happy if you're happy. If you're happy. Everybody's happy. Come on now. You know it's true. One more time, I'm telling you to say. Everybody's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's true. Listen, Vicky McBride, I'm telling you. Everyone's hiding their head in the sand. They've all decided to make other plans. So let's have a party, invite all our friends, and sing this song over and over again. I'm happy if you're happy, if you're happy, everybody's happy. Come on now, you know it's true. One more time, I'm telling you, sing! Yeah, you know it's true. Listen now, because I'm telling you that I'm happy. If you're happy, if you're happy, everybody's happy.
I don't know what it sounded like at your house, but this garage is kicking ass tonight. Is that dog still running around here? He is. Boba? Dog and wife missing. Sounds like a headline. Dog and wife missing. Dog separated from wife at the border. Dog put in cage. Can't find wife. Oh, Pat, you have to make everything so political. Well, listen here, you pumpkin head. No, I don't. Because right now, it's time for me to do my two challenge songs. Now, this first one I've played a couple times in the last hundred years, but not very much. And you'll be able to tell that this song was written in the early 90s because it was written when people had a better sense of humor. This is for April in Las Vegas. I can't play any copyrighted material, but I hope you got that. I hope you got that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. April in Las Vegas. Listen to this little jazz song for you. Today I'm staying home from work and I don't care who knows. Tomorrow I'll be unemployed, I suppose. But you'll know where to find me from nine to five or six. I'll be sitting on this park bench looking at chicks. Looking at, looking at, looking at, looking at chicks. And later on, I'm going to the magazine stand. I say, don't put up till tomorrow what you can do by hand. And later on, you'll find me up to my old tricks, thumbing through the magazines and looking at chicks. What's I be doing? Looking at, looking at. Look at that, chicks. All right, April. Ah, April. Out there in Vegas. How's, it, how, how's everything in Vegas? I bet it's warmer than it is in Milwaukee. Everybody. April's going to sing. You guys are going to sing. You're going to sing. Did you get that, April? How about this one? <laughs> Remember, I spell chick, C-H-Y-X. Now at the cafe looking over my coffee cup. I'm desperately wishing I could call you up. But with my telescope in hand, I get my kicks. I'm making things look bigger, looking at chicks. I'll be looking at, looking at, looking at, looking at chicks. Guys, sing it manly like. Let's be the LPGA. I'll be looking at, 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 chicks. Second challenging song for Mr. Joe Hip from Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Joe Hip, my favorite Philly cheesesteak. He 
wants this song to be a message to his wife, Melissa. I haven't played this song for at least 20 years. If there's one thing that I like best, it's watching you get undressed your hands on your hips like a amazon put on marvin gay well, let's get it on Another thing that I like too It's the way you smile whenever I feel blue Seems like I'm always blue But I don't care as long as you are always there Joe Hip, I added new parts to this song for you. One more thing, I almost forgot. I like the things you do whenever things get hot. When you're lying there like the poor of Babylon. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. Cause I love you, heaven knows I do. You know my love is true. I hope you love me too. Cause I love you, heaven knows I do. You know my love is true. I hope you love me too. I'll never be alone because of you. I hope I'm never on my own because of you. I would abdicate the throne because of you. Leap into the great unknown because of you. I won't forget to charge my phone because of you. And I might stop getting stoned because of you. I might stop getting stoned. Stop getting stuck. And a related song. Do you like to reminisce about the night that we first met? When I said hello and lit the wrong end of my cigarette You tell me it was magical and mystical Later on, quite physical The first tiny step on the road of our lives together A night that we'll share in our hearts and our minds forever But was it August or September? 
I was high, so I don't remember. Okay, people in the garage, you're going to do the chorus from now on, okay? Yeah. This song's also for Joe. He goes, he's thinking about Melissa right now. He's thinking, you like to reminisce about the night that we were wet. When we cut the cake and then we ran off to our nuptial bed. You tell me it was beautiful, mysterious, both of us delirious. The next giant step on the road of our lives together. A night that we'll share in our hearts and our minds forever. But was it August or September? Kiss the sky. You know what we need right now? Flashing, blinking lights. Okay, is that doable? Let me do the, the freak out part again. Very spicy, very spicy. You like to reminisce about when you were just a kid. And you regale me with the wild and dangerous things you did. Like how you used to cheer the team and go on dates. Now and then, you'd stay out too late. You were wholesome and trustworthy back then when nobody trusted me. Boyfriend was in a tuxedo and I was in custody. How did I meet you that November? Speaking of being high, my son Julian cannot be here tonight because he's in Madison. Uh, we do have a cue card holder, and his name is Brian Murphy. He's got some names I want to, a, a lot of people I want to say thank you to. Michael Sosi, as usual. Elizabeth Will, you know that's one of my favorite names, Elizabeth Will. Matt Whistler, Matt Whistler. The Sullivans of Alabama, the Sullivans of Alabama. Sullivan's, I apologize for playing that song for Kevin earlier in the set. <laughs> the Sullivan's of Appleton. Kate Larritson. Ooh la la, Kate Larritson. May we? Bob Pfeiffer. Bob Pfeiffer. I, went, I, I, I played in the school band with a kid named Bob Pfeiffer. I don't know if you're the same. You're not the same one. You're not, yeah, Pipe Jim had a Bob Pfeiffer in his set. Everybody. Oops. Mark Degner. Hello, Mark Degner, and thank you. Jody Kessenich. Amy Hendrickson. Thank you very much for donating. Mike Conlon. Uh, oh, Carla Holcomb. Carla Holcomb. Uh, with this uh, bottom one is, oh, Brad and Stacy Burkhart. Brad and Stacy. Brad and Stacy. Brad and Stacy. Brad and Stacy Burkhart. Yeah. Uh, Wendy Carnes. Thank you, Wendy Carnes. Uh, Gareth Olson. Gareth. It's kind of biblical. Is it? It's Semi, semi biblical. Lori Joas and Tap Dancing Kelly and Patrick. Thank you, Tap Dancing Kelly. You're not watching this. You are watching the Badger game. Maybe you'll watch this later. Jared Finger. <laughs> Mira oh, Miranda Hoffman. Miranda Hoffman. Here's Kevin's curling broom. 
And Miranda's birthday is this week. Happy birthday, Miranda. You're going to love being 21. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Becky Deli, uh, hello, Becky, and thank you. Darren Bohm, I've said a notch. Karnick, notch is from the Twin Cities. Notch, I hear you got like 100 inches of the snow up there. We don't have any snow here. It's just cold. Uh, the Wolvers of New York. The Wolvers. They'll pull the Wolver over your eyes. Wendy Miller, another Wendy. Oh, oh I almost did some more copyrighted material there. <laughs> Joe Altenbach. How about the Eliases? Hello, Eliases. Hello, Eliases. Hello, Eliases. Hello, Eliases. Hello, Eliases. It's Max's birthday tomorrow. Hello, Eliases. That is my new dance pop. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my. Hello, Elias. Hello, Eli. Hello. Hello, Elias. Um, Paul Hansen. Paul Hansen. Uh, no relation to Kevin. Kathy Preissner. Hello, Kathy. The Bozemans and the Cathams. They are always. They always shout out together. The Bozemans and the Cathams. Peter Grosset. We've said hello to Peter Grosset before. Uh, how about uh, Laura Parsons? Hello, Laura Parsons. Cindy Tom, you know her? You don't know her. <laughs> Alan Parsons. Uh, Cindy Thompson. Hello, Cindy Thompson. Christopher Baggett. Christopher Baggett. What the hell? Just Baggett. Let's have, let's, yeah, that name, that last name was, uh, that's going to cause you trouble, Christopher. That's like if you name your daughter Brit. Yeah, you can think of a hundred rhymes right off the top of your head. But uh, Linda Lehman, Linda Lehman, we've said hello to you before. And last but not least, the statuesque, the statuesque model from Menominee Falls, Ruth Ann, and her wonderful husband and great bro and Ruth Ann's brother. Ruth Ann's husband and Ruth Ann's brother don't have names. They are just known as Ruth Ann's husband and Ruth Ann's brother. Also, happy birthday to Kelly Cuss. Kelly Cuss. Hello, Kelly Cuss. 50 years old. 50 years young, Kelly. Consider this your birthday gift. Hello, Kelly Cuss. Hello, Kelly Cuss. That was almost, that's it. And Madison Malloy. Madison Meloy. Madison Malloy is 19 years old. Dang. What are you doing? Yeah. Madison, I, I don't know. You can't possibly be watching this crap. <laughs> You're 19 years old. You're probably, I don't know, hitting a bong and drinking a White Claw right now. <laughs> Playing beer pong. I hope you are, Madison Malloy. <laughs> ah, but summer's done now, officially. We're freezing our asses off. My fingers are cold. But still, I can dream. I can dream, can I? I can dream that I'm, that I'm. I'm going camping with some lesbians, tramping through the woods. It will be great to be outdoors again, far, far from the hood. Find a peaceful spot to pitch our tents after traveling near and far. And then we'll gaze into the firmament wish upon a star we'll build a campfire each and every night sing valerie and valera our faces glowing in the firelight hey let's do kumbaya we'll stop and say hello to folks we meet up and down the trail and now and then we'll stop to rest our feet a share a musing tale. Let's go! Ba -da 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 da 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 can hardly wait. Going camping with some lesbians, and I can hardly wait. Yeah. Yeah. Spice.
spice up our life right now. Ah, here in uh, Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin, the Pumpkin Festival is a drive-by event this year. You go by, you go by the pumpkins with your Glock, <laughs> and you shoot your design into each pumpkin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have enough scary songs to carry me over. And next Friday night, you know the pump, there's going to be more scary de decorations up. There's going to be a lot of scary decorations. But I guess for some of us, this would be scary. This next song should be scary. Because I must admit, I never spent too much time down on my knees a praying. That's right, Maureen Morris from Texas. I forgot to write who else requested this song. Burf, I'm an idiot. But I must admit, I have been trying to get by. You all know what I'm saying. Lord knows I've been a sinner for a long, long time. So I don't need you of all people. To remind me I'm, I'm going to hell I'm going to hell I'm gonna jump in a lake of fire for a spell Oh yeah, I'm going to hell I'm going to hell Oh me, oh my, oh well I'm going to hell, oh operator Give me number one Listening to the angels sing Ain't my idea fun Hello operator Give me number two Keep your halo and your wings I know what I want to do I'm going to hell I'm going to hell Gonna jump in a leg of fire for a spell Oh yeah, I'm going to hell I'm going to hell Oh me, oh my, oh well I'm going to Hello operator Give me number three the devil's in my underpants, he's got a hold on me. Hello, operator, give me number four. Can't you hear Beelzebub a knocking at that door? Hello, operator, give me five and thanks a lot. Hell looks just like Las Vegas and the weather's just as hot. Sing! No, no, no. Everybody say no, no, no. I can't get me into heaven. I can't get me into limbo. Can't get me into purgatory. I get no kingdom power and no glory. Everybody say no, no, no. No, no, no. I can't give me no forgiveness. And no central air conditioner. I can't give me no redemption. No excuses or exemption. Because sure before now I can tell oh yeah I'm going to hell I'm going to hell oh me oh my oh well I'm going to hell oh operator give me number six I'm gonna do the breaststroke up and down the river sticks hello operator give me number seven I know they don't make babes like Barbara up in heaven hello operator give me number eight a hearty bowl of split pea soup that really would be great Hello, operator, give me number nine. The flames are licking at my feet, but baby, I feel fine. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. I hope I get accustomed to the smell. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well, I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well, I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well. I'm a going, I'm a going to hell. One more time, put your hands in the air. Repeat after me. I want to hear you testify. I want to hear you say, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. I hope I get a 
accustomed to the smell. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well, I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well, I'm going to hell. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, well. I'm a going to. I'm a going to. I'm a going to hell. Oh, yes, I'm going. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Halloween people. Next Friday night will be the 30th of October. Uh, I'll be in this garage, and you'll be at home. Tell your friends. Don't forget to donate if you can. If you have a job, donate. And there's going to be a lot more scary stuff next week. We're going to get a cutout of Rudy Giuliani sticking his hands right down his pants. Until I see you next week. Thank you, Pipe. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Brian Murphy. Thank you, Mistress of Alcohol. St. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, said it came to me upon a midnight clear. I finished writing all of my gospel. Now all I seem to watch is sex and fear. Mark Antony looked down on Caesar's body. He said, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. I did not come here to pray, Caesar. I came here. For sex and beer, sex and beer, sex and beer, all the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer, sex and beer, all the things we like around here. Oh my God, look, it's Mr. Immunity. George Washington, he never crossed the Delaware. There was no midnight ride for Paul Revere. Ben Franklin never discovered electricity. He was too busy looking for sex and beer. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the things we like around here. Uh-huh. Charles Dickens gave us great expectations. Shakespeare gave us Hamlet and King Lear. Dostoevsky gave us crime and punishment. Who the hell is going to give us? Why not? Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the things we like around. From the city to the suburbs to the country. From the southern to the northern hemisphere. Everybody's making jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins. <laughs> and everybody's having sex and beer. Sex and beer. All the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer, sex and beer, all the things we like around here. Now they could take away our pride and our dignity. They could use up all our blood, that sweat, and tears. They could take away our names and give us numbers. But they will never take away a sex and beer, sex and beer, sex and beer, are the two things we hold dear. Sex and beer, sex and beer, are the things we like around here. We like sex and beer and sex and beer and pumpkin spice.
Price at Sex and Beer. Thank you, everybody. See you next week for another Halloween show. Six feet apart, what can we do when we're six feet apart? Six feet apart, six feet apart, I can't get close to you when we're six feet apart. If we could hold hands, that would be splendid, but our arms are too short, even fully extended. Six feet apart, six feet apart It seems like a mile when we're six feet apart Six feet apart, six feet apart Just for a while we'll be six feet apart I'd love to dance, but you'd have to touch me We can't watch TV Cause our couch is a love seat And we have to stay six feet apart Six feet apart In quarantine we'll be six feet apart Six feet apart Six feet apart Until day 14 we'll be six feet apart We can't make love that would be tricky We've moved our beds Like Lucy and Ricky And we have to stay And we have to stay And we have to stay Six feet apart